Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the EX-500-KVM HDMI extension kit with KVM functionality. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 400 feet away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content and is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with all of your modern media equipment. But it also provides KVM functionality, which allows you to plug a keyboard and mouse in at that remote location so you can remotely control a computer at the primary location. And finally, the product can be operated in a one-to-one -one relationship where the same media content is sent to a single location or a one-to-many configuration where the same media content can be distributed to multiple locations at the same time by simply adding receivers. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and the receiver modules, and I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use them. I'll list the features and functions that this product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how easy this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. You'll find two DC power supplies. You can simply plug this into a wall outlet at the remote location, and the other end of it has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the receiver. And the same for the transmitting location. You'll also find a connection cable that's a USB to USB, and this is used for connecting the transmitter to the computer at the primary location if you'd like to take advantage of that KVM functionality. You'll also find bracketing kits you can use to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way if you choose to do that. And finally, you'll find a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and a lot of other really good information about this solution that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. The kit includes both a transmitter module and a receiver module, and both of these feature full metal enclosures which make them incredibly durable and helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. Let's start with the transmitter module. On either side of the cabinet you'll find these ventilation slots that are really designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. You'll also find mounting holes on both sides that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this module up off the ground and out of the way. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, is a power indicator. The minute you add power to the module, it starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics. Once it passes that test, that LED will come on, letting you know the module is ready to use. To the right of that is a KVM indicator. If you decide to use the KVM functionality of this solution, when you plug a keyboard and mouse in at the remote location and connect this up to your computer, that LED will come on, letting you know the KVM feature is active. To the right of that is a micro USB port labeled upgrade, and that's for upgrading the firmware on the module if needed later on. You'll simply connect this to a computer, move that firmware file over to the module to complete that upgrade. To the right of that is a LAN port, that's where one end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable plugs in between this transmitter and the receiver. And to the right of that is a reset button. You can use that to reset the module if needed by simply holding it down for a few seconds. On the rear of the module, starting on the left, you'll find a power input port, and that's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that into a standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there and provides all the power you'll need for operation. To the right of that is a full-sized HDMI port labeled HDMI in. This connects to whatever device you'd like to share the media from with your remote location. Finally, to the right of that is a USB port, and that connects to a local computer if you decide to use the KVM functionality. The receiver module is very similar. Again, full metal enclosure, ventilation slots on both sides, mounting holes on both sides as well for the bracketing kit. On the front of the unit, power indicator, KVM indicator, upgrade port, another LAN port, and that's where the other end of the CAT6 or CAT7 from the transmitter plugs in. To the right of that, a reset button again to reset the module if needed. On the rear of the unit, another power input port, and that's for the second power supply. Again, plug it into a wall outlet, barrel connection plugs in right there. Another full-sized HDMI port labeled HDMI out, 
This connects to the local monitor at that remote location you'd like to use to enjoy the content from the primary side. And then finally, to the right of that are two full-sized USB-A ports that you can use to connect a keyboard and a mouse that you can use again to remotely control the computer connected at the other end. That's pretty much it for the set. The Ore EX-500-KVM is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including digital projectors, streaming devices, computer systems, game consoles, and media players like Apple TV. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra high definition media content. It's an HDMI media extender with full KVM features. It is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant. It provides 400 feet of extension between the primary and secondary locations and can be operated in a one-to-one -one relationship or a one-to-many relationship where you can distribute the same media content to multiple remote locations at the same time. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use the O-Ray EX-500-KVM with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up my laptop as the media device, but this can be anything with an HDMI output, like a streaming media player, a game console, or even a computer. And this is the media content that I'd like to share with my remote location. Over here I've set up a monitor as my output device, and this is where I'd like to enjoy the content from that primary location. And these can be up to 400 feet apart. In front of me, I have the transmitter module here and the receiver module here. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter module, and I'll start by connecting my media device directly to the unit. I've already plugged a high-speed HDMI cable into the computer. The other end of that, I'll plug directly into the HDMI input port in the transmitter. And now I can add power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of the cable has this barrel connector on it, which plugs directly into the DC input port in the transmitter. And now we're ready to connect the receiver up at the remote location. I have another high-speed HDMI cable connected to the bottom monitor, and I'll plug that into the HDMI output port in the receiver. And then I can add power here. I've already plugged in that second power supply, and I'll plug that into the DC input port in the back of the receiver. Now, the minute I add power to both of these modules, they immediately start the internal power on self-test where they're checking the electronics to make sure everything's working. The transmitter is also checking the resolution of the media device, and the receiver is checking the resolution of the output monitor to make whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. The only thing we're missing at this point is the network connection between these two modules. And that has to be a CAT6 or a CAT7 cable. I have a short CAT6 cable right here that I'll use for that connection. And I'll plug that into the receiver and the other end of it into the transmitter. Now the minute I make that connection, these two modules will handshake over that LAN connection and they'll make the adjustment to the resolution to give you that beautiful picture in the output. And there you go. So what you're viewing here is HDMI content that's been converted into a signal that can be sent over the LAN cable and then convert it back into an HDMI signal for display in this monitor. And again, these can be up to 400 feet apart. Now one other nice feature this product provides is KVM functionality, which allows me to connect the keyboard mouse up at the remote location to control the computer at the primary location. And to take advantage of that feature, you can use the cable that's included with the kit. It's a USB-A to USB-A. You'll plug one end of it into the connection on the back of the transmitter and the other end into any available USB-A port on your computer. And the minute you do that, the computer will recognize you've connected an external device. And then you can easily connect the keyboard mouse up at the remote location to control that computer. Now I have a wireless mouse right there with a dongle, so I'll plug that into one of the two USB-A ports in the back of the receiver. And you'll see that I have complete control over the mouse on both the primary site and the remote site. Now one of the really nice features this product provides is the relationship between the primary and secondary locations. Right now, I've got it set up in a one-to-one -one relationship where a single transmitter is sending that media content to a single remote location. But this system can also operate in a one-to-many configuration where the same transmitter can distribute the same content to multiple locations at the same time. And to take advantage of that feature, you'll need another receiver, which I've already plugged the power supply into, and you'll need a network connection. It has to be a one gig connection. So I've got a monitor up top here. I've got an HDMI cable connected to that. I'll plug that into the HDMI output port on the second receiver. And then all I need to do is connect that to the network with the transmitter. And to do that, if you have an existing network, you're fine. But if you don't, you can use a one gig switch like this. And I'll just plug this into the unit. 
and then I can add both of these receivers to the same switch. I've got two more CAT6 cables right here. I'll plug the first one in. And again, the minute I make this connection, they'll go through a handshake, and you'll see the first monitor come up. Then I'll connect this one. That'll handshake, and you'll see the second monitor come up. And it takes a second for that to happen, but what you're viewing here, again, is the same content that's been converted into signals sent over the network, then converted back into HDMI signals for display in those monitors. And these can be up to 400 feet away from here, so you can have multiple remote locations that are displaying the same content from a single primary location. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray EX-500-KVM HDMI extender with KVM functionality helpful. This product provides an incredibly easy way for you to share all of your HDMI media content from one location with a second remote location up to 400 feet away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content, which means you'll have a crystal clear image at that remote location. And it's both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with a wide range of modern media equipment and a good variety of media files. The product also provides KVM functionality, which allows you to plug a keyboard and mouse in at the remote location so you can remotely control the computer at the primary location. And finally, this product can be operated in a one-to-one -one relationship where the media content is shared with a single remote location, or by adding additional receivers, you can turn it into a one-to-many relationship where that same media content can be distributed to multiple locations at the same time. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.